And then so welcome to another video. Today we have an important topic to talk about and this is no other topic than odds. In this video I'm going to give you five, you know what, actually six tips. What mods do you need to prioritize for different purposes? I will be talking about survivability mods, damage mods, sustainability mods, mobility mods. Stick to the end of the video because I'll give you a couple of extra tips how you can save a little bit of time and getting rare mods. So let's get straight to it. First category, let's talk about mods that give you survivability. And those mods are actually universal. They're, those are used almost in every single build if you want to keep your descendant with a good survivability. And those mods are actually no other than the HP mods. And the HP mods uh, are, there is a few options, right? If you type even over here, uh, HP, there is the very first and cheapest option for you uh, to go after is increased HP. This is most likely you will get this very, very early in the game uh, before you get probably HP amplification. This mod specifically <clears throat> increases your max a a HP and this is the most important defensive stats in the game. When we're talking about defensive stats, uh, the most important one is HP, which is followed afterwards with defense. And then we're talking about shields and etc. Unless you're doing an exclusive shield build, but those are very rare. People don't play shields in general, right? So go for increased HP. If you're very early in the game and if you're struggling with survivability, just pick up the, um, the increased HP mod and upgrade it as much as you can. Preferably, of course, to the max so that you can get as much as more um, survivability. Now, keep in mind that this, th those mods, HP and HP amplification mods in general, stack very well if you have components that have double rows uh, or in general just max HP rows. So combine those two things and you will increase your survivability by a lot. Now, the other mod that is very, very useful and I moved away from HP increase and I, I you know, when I want to build more tanky and be more, you know, Thank you in general. I go for HP amplification because as you can see, the difference is significant. You lose your max shield, but you get 227% max HP increase. And that's a very, very useful module for having more max HP. Right now, my bunny <clears throat> with this setup has 11,000 HP, which is more than enough to survive 99% of the content in the game. Now, the other mob that I said that, you know, the other stats that is really recommended is defense. This is a very cheap mod. You will get it almost like probably in the second mission when you start the game. So get defense as soon as possible and increase it as much as you can. Now, it has a little bit of a less priority than HP in general, but this is also going to increase your survivability by a lot. Another honorable mention in this case is spare and shield. This is very, um, you know, handy because it also gives you a little bit of defense, but also a little bit of skill power, which is going to increase your damage in general. So those are a, a couple of mods that you need, to, you can prioritize if you're struggling with survivability in the game. And this is going to increase it significantly and you will feel much better doing certain contents in the game. And the second tip is what are the mods to to focus on to increase your damage overall and your cooldowns. To increase your cooldown, Nimble Fingers is one of the most used mods in most builds because it increase, decreases your cooldown, skill cooldown by 25%. Technician is also a very, very popular mod in most builds because it increases your skill power modifier by a 50%. Generally speaking, in this game, everything that is a, some some type of a modifier usually brings up your stats by a lot, right? So those two over here specific mods are used almost in every single build because they are very, very important mods to go after for. And you get them very early in the game as well. Those are blue mods. Those are cheap to upgrade and really go for them. Now, another mod that is also pretty popular in most of the uh, builds is Frontlines. The reason why this is popular because it increases your skill critical hit damage 
and it increases your skill critical hit rate, which basically makes you, you know, pop so much more damage with any descendant with your skills. This is, you know, keep in mind when we are talking about skill critical hit increase, this is in case you want to play a descendant and spam your skills. There are some descendants that are more of a, you know, tankier approach, defensive approach, and there you probably want to stick to the tankiness and not so much boost your skills. For example, Ajax, you want to be super tanky and work more, for example, towards your weapons and make those weapons melt everything in the game while you stay tanky, right? So it depends on the descendant, but generally speaking, those are a few mods that you can prioritize when you want to pull a little bit more damage into your build. The third tip in this video is going to be about mods that give you mobility. And those are particular mid-air maneuvering, long distance maneuvering and multi-maneuvering. Those are the three current mods that give you mobility in this game. This is basically changing your hook, the way you move around the map. Mid-air maneuvering is very simple. You basically turn into a, a, a Spider-Man or Tar Tarzan uh, in the air and you can grab any anything. You, you don't have to grab to an edge to uh, to use, um, you know, your hook, which is really, really good. And you can do funny stuff like this, just swing around. That's why I really love mid-air maneuvering. Uh, mid-air maneuvering sometimes drops from hard bosses. It drops from missions. I've seen drop on missions. I've seen it drop on um, grinding spots. Try to aim for a mid-air long distance maneuvering or multi-maneuvering. But long distance maneuvering, for example, is very useful if you want to fight bosses and you want to grab to a boss from a longer distance. Both options are really, really good. Multi-maneuvering, not that much because it just gives you more... Uh, it gives you three hooks uh, instead of one. That's why mid-air and long distance are more popular and you'll see them, people uh, use them in their builds. Fourth tip that I'm going to talk about, and this is going to be about sustain. There's two different types of sustain that we can categorize, and one of them is HP sustain, and the other one is MP sustain, so basically your mana. HP sustain is going to be this mod over here called HP Collector, which basically gives you the ability um, to regain a portion of your HP after you kill a certain mob. And this is very useful when you're grinding. For example, you're fighting bosses. You've seen the bosses spawn their little ads. Uh, and once you pop them, once you kill them, you re there is a chance for you to regain HP, which is very powerful for boss fights because it really increases your survivability. You don't have to look for HP orbs and pick them up from the ground to heal up and it in general it's a very hp sustained mod which i use everywhere where i need to be a little bit more tanky or have a better survivability it works best when there is a lot of mobs the second one that is also really interesting is mp collector this on the other hand returns part of your mana when you're killing mobs so this is really good for fast grinding spots where you want to maintain high mana. This is specifically very good for, for example, for Bunny and her certain builds. Uh, and basically each one, each uh, descendant that is struggling sometimes with mana, this is your saver. This is the one that is going to make your life so much more easier because there is a 17% chance when maxed upgrade that you will get part of your mana back after um, killing mobs again it works the same way after killing mobs you have this chance to receive this mana back the fifth tip is going to be transcendent mods i'm not going to talk about specific transcendent mods. i'm going to talk about a few things that you can actually do in order to get transcendent mods uh, more and you can grind for specific ones right if you're looking for a specific transcendent mod for example this one is for Enzo. This is a very OP mod, which I don't have yet, but I'm really looking into uh, getting after this one very soon. Uh, so this is, you just can click over here, obviously, and see where you can grind the specific mod. Or for example, High Voltage, you can get it from Pyromaniac. But the tip what I'm going to give you over here, this is not the only way you can get Transcendent mods. So let's say you want to actually, um, you, you grind over time and here and there you get actually some transcendent mod drops but those are mods that you're either not interested in or you have duplicates so what you can do is you can go 
to the mod guy in Albion and let me show you. The way you get multiple repeating mods obviously is for example if you do the same mission or the same hard boss over and over again. For example, let's say I have two or a void explosions right now. Um, to be honest, I don't even need void explosion. I don't need superconductor. And let's say I don't need this mod over here. What you can do is you can reroll these and let me try my luck. And I'm going to reroll right now. And I just got electric charge, um, which is basically also a mod that I'm not really interested in. But this is how you can try your luck and reroll those mods. The, the most amount of transcendence mods that I've seen, and usually I get it, uh, I get a ton of these, is when you are grinding hard bosses. For me, hard bosses are not hard anymore. In fact, I kill them in seconds now. Every third kill, I get at least one or two transcendent mods. And in most cases, those are almost almost every time the same mod. So I keep re-rolling them, and this way you can get actually the mod that you're looking for. Now, don't forget that some of them are ultimate exclusive mods. That means that you need the ultimate version of the Descendant uh, to be using this mod. I'm going to give you now a sixth tip. Upgrading your mods, obviously, is one of the important things. And let's say I want to max this one out. Now, the thing, that, the thing with Transcendent mods is when you upgrade the mod, it doesn't actually increase the damage or the ability or whatever. It, what it does is actually it decreases the overall capacity of the cost. But the one thing that I want to tell you is it is very expensive. It is very expensive. And as you can see, the, no the, the zero, the basic one, when you get it, it costs you 13 capacity. When you max upgrade it, it will cost you three capacity. This is about this mod, for example. But as you can see, it costs 5 million gold to upgrade to the maximum. So you're basically trading capacity here. You're unlocking more capacity in your build, but you are going to pay a lot of gold. So be aware of this. Take those upgrades one at a time if you need to. For example, as much as you can afford, take it a little bit step by step. And this is going to increase your capacity overall. Hey, let me know in the comments below if this video was useful to you. Did you learn something new? One of the things that makes me most happy is when my videos are really useful to the audience. Uh, this is why I'm making them. I really want to share my knowledge of the game and what I've learned from playing the game since it launched. And by the way, I'm still working on growing my Discord server. Pretty new. So if you would like to join our Discord server um, over here, you can, you, as you can see, we are starting to grow. It's a pretty new server. That's why there are not that many people. But if you want to join uh, the Bushido Marius Dojo, uh, here you can uh, meet us, we can go and grind together sometimes, we can help you out if you have any certain questions. So feel free to join us, uh, I would really be happy to see you there. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.